But you gotta be there for me too All right, here we go on this follow along beach workout. This was at 6 a.m. for me, so I was trying my best. It wasn't the easiest, but we still did it. First thing, you're gonna wanna warm up, so I did about 20 jumping jacks just to get yourself moving and ready for the strength part of this. Then the first move for actual conditioning would be 40 Russian twists. So I would say make sure that your feet are not touching the ground and you're twisting your body to each side completely. You can even try to tap the ground with your knuckles and that'll make sure that you're doing it correctly. This is great for your core. Now we're going to target our arms and do 20 pike push-ups. These are harder than regular push-ups because more of your body weight is leaning over your shoulders and the closer that your feet are to your hands, the harder it will be. So feel free to challenge yourself with any level of difficulty. Bicycle pumps are one of my favorite things to do and they will really hurt your abs. So I would say do 30 of these. The next thing to do is five press handstands. If you can do it from sitting, go for it, but I just like to do it from dragging my feet. The most important thing is that you don't jump into it, so you can see me, I just kind of lean over my shoulders and then press up to handstand. Here we go down to the lower body. So. These squat jumps will really burn your legs and butt. So I would say do 20 of them. I just did 18 because I miscounted. You've got to go all the way down to a 90 degree angle in your squat and push so far out of your toes to get as much height as you can in your jump. And don't give up. We're going back up to our core and abs. So you'll do 50 heel taps. And make sure to keep your shoulders off the ground like you're doing a hollow hold. But your feet will be down and just tap each heel or ankle with each hand. If you do anything to work your abs, you must focus on your back as well. So that's why we're gonna do 20 arch ups. Try to bring as much of your legs off the ground and as much as your chest off the ground as possible. After the arch ups, you're gonna roll right over to your back and do the opposite, which is 20 V ups.
Don't worry, the ab moves are almost done. All you have left is 15 leg lifts. And do this while laying on your back and go as slow as possible, bringing your feet down to the ground, nice and straight legs, but don't touch. Just go right an inch above the ground and then bring them back up to a 90 degree angle. Our final conditioning move is five back tuck burpees and these were a very much a challenge for me. First of all, my feet were hurting because it was very early in the morning and the sand was pretty hard. And second, I did not even make all my back tucks around. I was just kind of chucking them. But you can try your best for these. If you have your standing back tuck, try it out. If not, I would say just do a straight jump or a back handspring, whatever you want in between those push-ups. 